Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, we're going to look at Gravit Designer and its slice feature to create seamless Facebook carousel ads or Instagram posts. Let's jump right in. So I've created a very simple document here just with a few objects to demonstrate this idea. And I have deliberately placed these elements here on where there would be seams. So to give you an example, I've set up this document to be three 1080 squares. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to drag in a rectangle here, go over to my inspector panel and type in 1080 just to create a square that's exactly the size of the slice I want to export. Okay. So I'm going to line these up here right in the corners just so you can see how this has been set up. So there's one, there's two. I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit so you can see what's behind it. And I'm just duplicating this and dragging it over until it, so it snaps to the edges of my surrounding shapes. And there's three 1080 squares. Okay. I'll get rid of those. I just wanted to show you how I've set that up. This works great for Instagram posts. Uh, that's a good size for Instagram posts and as well as uh, the Facebook carousel ads. So that's why I've set it up to those dimensions. But what I want to do is create slices that are exactly those dimensions. And there's no slice tool up here. Uh, the knife is not the slice tool. Okay. The slice tool is located in the layers panel next to the export option. So any layer inside here can, you can add an export by clicking the little plus icon there. And I can tell that piece of text to be exported as a PNG, a JPEG, a SVG, or a PDF. I've covered the export features in other videos. And you can see only the layers that I have designated to be exported will have the little export pop up down here at the bottom. You can click the X here to get rid of that particular layer export. I want the icon right next to that plus icon, which is the create slice. And if I have nothing selected here, it's going to create a new slice that is the size of everything I have on my canvas. So I'll click it once and you can see it's covered everything, including that little cup there that is extended outside the canvas area. What I can do now is resize this. I can do it here or I can do it over here in the inspector panel. And I want my width to be 1080. And that's going to give me a perfect 1080 by 1080 slice. And you can see the slices show up here in the layers panel just like a layer. We have to do another step to make sure this slice gets exported the way that we want. But let's go ahead and create all of our slices first. So with this slice selected, I can just hit Control D to duplicate it and move it over, just like I did with the rectangles before. There we go. Now we've got all three slices. And I want to show you something. If I just go to Export, we can export our canvas as usual. If I go to Selection, the only thing that's selected right now is that one slice. So if I selected all of the slices, it would export the, the entire selection. I, did, I don't want that. The slices are going to show up under my assets export. But in order for that to happen, I have to tell my layers panel to export those slices. This is actually cool because you can export different slices as different file formats if you wanted to. So I can select all three of these over here in the layers panel by holding down shift. Then I'm going to click my plus icon down here to add export and PNG is great. I'm going to do PNG at one times. Now go to my export option and go to assets and there's slice, slice two and slice three. Then I can export. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these PNG images in back into my document so that you can see how they have been exported. And I'll basically reassemble these. So here's my slices as PNG images. And if I line them all up correctly, I'm going to select them all and hit center. 
you can see that they will be seamless once they are butted up against each other. So that's how you use the slice export feature in Gravit Designer. I hope that's helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>